Hello everyone, this is a Steven Universe discussion video on Is Bubbling the Strongest Technique? Why I bring this topic up is because, well, I haven't seen really anyone else talk about it. Unless I've just haven't really seen anyone popular talk about it, but I might have found, or at least think of a way for Steven and the Crystal Gems to deal with Homeworld, or specifically like any of the diamonds and then specifically Yellow Diamond, who is the only diamond so far to actually have like interactions with them. I have a feeling that this method that I'll get into later, or at least like bubbling, is the way to beat Homeworld, or just Yellow Diamond specifically. Why I also think that bubbling might be the strongest technique, or just like the strongest move, ability, power, I guess, is because just think about it. Out of all of the gems that we've seen so far, Rose and Steven are the only gem, well, yeah, since it's the same gem technically, are the only gems to have a, an ability to bubble themselves just to do that. And now, now, the thing is, I don't know if this is just like a quartz thing or just like her thing, you know, with like Jasper being a quartz as well of like being, you know, probably like an offensive or attack uh, quartz more focus on just attacking and just getting into the battle and then just destroying anything they see with Rose more defensive and kind of in the back defending and all that stuff tanking so that's why she's got her shield the bubble and then maybe even her healing spit those three things though I don't know we haven't really seen any other like actual single quartz out there from homeworld or just from the crystal gems so I'm not too sure about that, so it just could be, you know, a quartz thing, but I could be wrong. So, but anyway, Rose and Steven are the only gems to have this type of ability. And I think to myself, well, why is that? Is it just something that, you know, Rose did for herself? And then I thought, I know Rose is pretty smart for the fact that she did lead the rebellion and won against Homeworld, but then I realized with this discussion or theory, I have a feeling that Rose, well not even a feeling, but I can just now tell that Rose was actually a genius. Now granted, from the episodes that we sometimes see with her being naive to human culture, but like past that, she's pretty darn smart actually when it comes to like war, combat, and just leadership in general, and just I guess gem power entirely. Now. Kind of like with the quartz thing, I don't know if like Rose invented bubbling or something like that. I don't think she really did. We don't really know how bubbling was invented, why it was made, how it was made, who made it, or what's like the actual purpose of bubbling for Homeworld way back then, kind of like before the war or even just a little bit during the war. We don't know, but I can tell that Rose at least got inspiration from there. I could assume so, it would make sense, but... She knew that bubbles were pretty darn strong. Just also think about this. Once a gem is poofed and then they're bubbled, what can they do? Nothing. That's it. That, that's it. Game over, pretty much. Once that gem, or even object, I suppose, is bubbled, besides outside help, no way can that gem get out. They can't form again. They can't do anything. They're just stuck there. It's kind of like an infinite knockout or just like coma, I suppose. They're stuck like that. Bismuth was trapped inside of a bubble and then even specifically trapped inside Lion for almost forever, really. And she had no real recollection of what happened through the entire time, or at least like after she was uh, poofed by Rose. Bismuth couldn't break free. Jasper still hasn't broken free from her corruption when she was bubbled, and if it wasn't for Steven uh, being sneaky and snooping around in the temple, he wouldn't have freed Peridot, and Peridot would just be still hanging above in the ceiling of the burning room. So, once the gem is bubbled, that's pretty much it. Now, granted, there could be, like, you know, things depending on like this type of situation like with pearl and the whaling stone thing like pearl bubbled it and the whaling stone got free now there's like three things from that one maybe pearl's bubbles are just weak simple as that and that's why the whaling stone wasn't in the bubble for that long two the whaling stone sound is actually like really strong to break through the bubble 
or three, it's just both. The Pearl's bubble are just weak, and then the Wailing Stone's, like, sound or message it was trying to give off was strong enough to break it. It could have been both or, you know, something like that. So I guess it kind of depends, but still. The moral or just general thing is, once the gem's bubbled, that's it. At least when they're poofed and the gem itself is bubbled, game over, pretty much. Now with Rose having, or at least making, the bubble technique, I always, well, I've at least been saying that, you know, once the gem is inside there, you know, inside the bubble, they can't really break free from inside, but that's kind of a good thing, because she can just expand the bubble, and then that's just pretty much it. It's going to take a lot of force to actually break her bubble from the outside, since, well, she's practiced with it a lot. And I can also guarantee you that Rose used her bubble, she, like, expanded it around herself, and she got Pearl and Garnet and... I'm pretty sure that's just actually it during the Diamond's final attack, which I think is like nicknamed or just named uh, the Diamond Song or something like that before they left off of um, Earth after the war when it was uh, ending, when it was finally over. That was their final attack they did, and I can guarantee you that Rose gathered Pearl and Garnet close to her and then just used her bubble and protected her from that attack. I can guarantee you that's what happened. When they finally show the flashback of that, which... I can also guarantee they will eventually. That's what she used to protect them, and that's why, well, we have the story that we have today. Not only that, what saved the Earth from the present timeline with the cluster? What stopped the cluster? Bubbling. Stephen bubbled a shard, and then another shard, well, that shard bubbled another shard, and then so on and so forth. It was an endless pattern until the entire cluster was bubbled. The bubble is now, or well, the cluster is now inside the bubble. And as I kept saying, once the gem or object is inside the bubble, unless there's some outside force or whatever, then that bubble isn't popping from the inside. Unless the actual, like, user of the bubble pops it, which I don't think they're going to do, since that's probably going to take a while, since I think they're starting to get to know each other or something like that. At least that's what Steven wanted. So, bubbling at least what I've been dubbing, the strongest technique, saved the Earth pretty much twice. It saved Rose, who saved the Earth, and then Steven used that technique to save the Earth from the cluster. It's simple, it's like two things from the same technique, really. And now, in the future, maybe, we might get a third time. Or, well, even second, I suppose, since if you don't count, like, the Rose thing, since that's a little bit off and not actually, like, saving the world, technically, it saved them. I did back then say that a diamond couldn't be shattered or poofed, but of course a couple of like days later that like entire thought from me was just thrown out the window with the pink diamond thing of like, oh no, well, pink diamond was shattered, so what does this theory mean? You're, you're kind of wrong here, you, did you not watch the show? And since the gems can't, you know, shatter a diamond, now I'm not saying that like, oh yeah, it's impossible for them reason why I say that is because, well, Steven, you saw him when he heard that Rose shattered Pink Diamond. He was devastated and probably still doesn't actually believe that she did it. I can just tell that he doesn't. You know, they told him that she did, but we can tell that he just still doesn't. He doesn't believe that she actually did that for all the, like, caring and loving things that she's done. So what's the best way to deal with this villain that's going to attack them but they really can't, like, actually kill or destroy her. They can most likely poof her. Yeah, that's possible, but Steven doesn't want them to be shattered. He believes that every gem shouldn't be shattered, no matter who they are or whatever. That's why he doesn't, or at least, like, allows the gems to. He just, he accepts the, the bubbling, because they're not technically dead or just forever gone. They're just trapped or just, you know, eh, unconscious or knocked out or something. The best way to deal with it is to bubble the diamond, or yellow diamond. It's the best method. They have five gems that can bubble. Steven, Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and Peridot. Now, somewhere in the future, if Lapis wants to join the bubble club, then that's fine. Then that would make up six. But so far, we have five gems. Now, I don't know specifically how they would do this. You know, if they have her, like, yellow diamond distracted, then they all just start bubbling one at a time, kind of like with the cluster, one bubble, two bubble, three, and then so on till uh, YD can't break out, and that's pretty much game over. Or they could actually poof her, 
than just simply bubble her. And just in case they could add multiple bubbles, you know, kind of like with the cluster method, I suppose, just in case, like, a diamond could break out of just a single bubble. Or if that doesn't work, then they can form Alexandrite, then bubble her through, you know, the first way that I just said, or, um, or through poofing. That's our, like, four options right there to be yellow diamond. I can... I know that Alexandrite can bubble. Fusions can most likely bubble since Garnet does it all the freaking time. So, yeah, that's how. That's what I think on bubbling. Is it the strongest technique? Let me know what you think and how I think the best way for the Crystal Gems to beat Yellow Diamond or just Home Roll in general, just bubble them. It saved Earth from the cluster, it saved Rose, Pearl, and Garnet. And it can most likely save Earth again if Homeworld comes. So, yeah, that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have any questions, comments, or concerns, or other discussion topics you want me to talk about? Uh, leave in the comments below as well. One Drawny fan art for the channel would be greatly appreciated. Uh, have a great day, great night, and great Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. And uh, as again, there won't be a theory video for this week since I'm just kind of taking the week off, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff, want to have the break, and I know you probably want to as well. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.